This is West Webster, New York's new SVI Heavy Rescue. It's delivered here in November of 2010. It's on a Spartan Gladiator cab chassis. It's got some uh, brow lights you can see here. It's an ELFD cab. It's got some storage for radios and bags here. In the front compartment we've got the command light controller, electric reel, couple of uh, slide out tool boards here. It's got a junction box, some portable lights, SCBA clips. The one next to it is blank. Down here you got extension cord holders, some boxes. Here's a toolbox, a little refrigerator to store uh, bottled water or samples or whatever you want really. You got three tool boards here with uh, custom tool mounting on the sides of them for axes and uh, some shovels and stuff like that. Over the axle you got some SCBA storage in here. You got a thousand pound, or actually 750 pounds, excuse me, tray to pull out. as well as the transverse plywood module above it. We've got three hydraulic reels up here, along with one, a part of the XRT system. We've got some adjustable shelving here, some slide out tool boards. On the back, we've got a long lumber storage compartment here. It goes almost the full length of the body. On the street side of the body, you've got this big awning here. It's 120 volt. In the steps here, you've got integrated compartments, as well as a flip down step. And in this top stair, you actually have ladder storage and pike pole storage and all that good stuff. In the upper body compartments, Got some rope tie-offs as well, four of them, two on each side. Got the command light up here. In the front transverse compartment you can see you got a fan, got the another part of the XRT system. Got some more tool storage, a little giant ladder storage. Floor dry hopper, some plastic cribbing it looks like. On this other side you got airbag storage. You got a couple 750 pound slide out trays. You got your floor dry hopper storage here, as well as the output hose and the valve. You got a tool board here with a bunch of air shores on it with uh, custom mounting on here. Kind of a cool little deal here. So you just turn that handle and it unlocks or locks your air shores in. You got that system on both sides here. Got some SCBA storage below the other side of the plywood module. Fender tie off. A CBA storage. Got some cutoff saw storage, adjustable shelving, plymo vent, some uh, plastic toolboxes full of plastic cribbing. Got an out and down tray here. On this ELFD compartment, you got the 5,000 pound portable winch and the fender tie off accessories. In the back of the cab, we got seating for all the occupants, overhead storage cabinets, as well as on scene solutions talon helmet brackets, and some flashlights, some mat box storage. You can see all the flashlights and helmet brackets there. That's the inside of a cabinet. It's got all whiteboard material here. And on the back, 
Same kind of setup. You got seating for four people. Two of them are SCBA seats. And these doors lock. Got kind of a rhino lighting interior. On the front, you've got some outlets on the bumper. Q siren, another outlet. And here's the rescue bumper. Got two cord reels along with some tool storage underneath here. So, that's uh, the newest SVI Heavy Rescue for West Webster, New York. Really nice looking truck. Hope you enjoyed it.